Hey folks, Valentin Demet here, and today we'll be comparing Gore mods in GTA 5. The modding scene for the game is massively impressive and particularly in our aspect. The foundation in the game itself for good response is quite solid. Doesn't have dismemberment, but there is a good wound functionality, good mechanics for basic spinning, and of course the Euphoria system, which also got very much enhanced by mods. In this video, I'll be comparing three mods that improve the wounds and the blood effects. The mods are Improvements in Gore by Braver Coolio, Blood and Deco Diversity by Karnath Smechter, and Brutality Plus by Kevkev117. Links are in the description. To show how much of a difference they make, I'll present the vanilla effects, the foundation, in every section. So, let's get right into it. We begin with all things wound related. First, pistol wounds in vanilla game. As you can see, of course, you have the response at the point of impact, and it consists of two parts. You have the hole itself, appears immediately, with some blood and splitter around it, and you have the blood soakage. On the head, on a, so to say, non-fatal headshot, using a menu, you get essentially a pimple. So there is a difference between the non-fatal shot where the character is standing and the fatal one, and you can particularly see it in the blood pattern on clothes. So this is how that soakage looks. And you do very much have exit wounds too, so that's how those look on the torso. As you can see, the hole of the splatter does very much look different than what you have in the entry wound. And those two are the exit wounds. Alright, so let's look at the fatal responses when the character is lying down. As you can see, the soakage now is in more circular patterns, and the hole in the head does look much more serious. As you can also see here very well, you have the hole in the blood around it also respond to light, and as you'll see, as you probably already know if you've been following the modding scene, the mods very much take advantage of that feature. Alright, now we get to the shotgun, and that is how the response looks like from up close. And here's the blood spilling aftermath for that. Now let's see what happens if we take a shot from further away. As you can see we do have a pellet simulation, there isn't just a one big deco, but looks like every pellet is causing multiple holes, which is yeah way more than you have in a buckshot. Alright, now we get to the hammer and uh, that is what we get for that finisher animation. And if you do try to make further wax for a hammer smashed face effect, nothing basically gets added. Now we go for braided melee with this big axe and for the first wax for the finisher there is nothing but other hints will very much have a response. As you can see lots more soakage on the clothes and you do have kind of a scratch on the face. Alright, now get to our mods beginning with improvements in gore, so let's see the pistol responses. As you can see the holes are more HD and you have very different patterns for the soakage. Now the patterns I think are very good and they do very much cover a large area, but as you can see you can't tweak the soakage itself, so the process doesn't quite look right, but the aftermath is very nice. And that's how the response looks like for the head. Now let's have a look at the exit wounds. And the ones on the head. And here is a look at the blood spilling for all of that. So for the fatal laying down shots, here is what those look like. And 
As you can see the head is kind of messier and you do get different zokage patterns on the clothes as well. Moving on to the shotguns. So we can see the padded simulation here. And that is the face. Without the eyes kind of ruining it, it would almost look like multi-layer damage. Very good use of response of the wound to light. Now as for the exit wounds, here is what those look like. Even nastier on the head here. And here is the blood spill. Alright, as for a shot from further away... Yeah, that is how a pellet simulation should look like. Very, very good stuff. And of course the limitations here are deformation and the fact that the soakage is limited only to the clothing item. So you can't have that go further on the pants or a face shot stain the shirt, for example. And I will say, of all mods, this is my favorite shotgun response. Okay, now it is hammer time. So, yeah, immediately you can see the response was uh, nastier and for some reason it took two hits. Every other time it took one, but uh, yeah, that is indeed nastier. And you do have a response for further hits, which kind of looks like a bullet wound, but it is better than nothing, I would say. And here is the response for the axe. Don't know the blood patterns for it too. Let's do a few more for a better showcase on the head. Next up is Blood and Decals Diversity. As always we begin on the pistol. Alright, once fully formed, those coding patterns are seriously, seriously good. Well, yeah, I do very much love those. That kind of blew me away. And let's look at the exit wounds. So, we do have those two on the head, but nothing on the clothes. Now, let's see if it is because I was using a pistol, so what if I use something with more penetration power? Alright, so according to your local news anchor, I'm holding a AR-47 or AK-15, and let's see what uh, that does. Alright, it does very much look nice, but as you can see, there is a bit of an alignment issue between the wound and the soakage. But yeah, to the main point, we do very much have exit wounds. Now to the fatal laying down wounds, here is what we have. I do like the one on the top left, but the large one, not a fan of that personally. Alright, shotguns. So yeah, that is, <laughs> yeah, that, that's an overkill, definitely. Like, it should be nasty, but I, I feel this is a little too much. And here are the exit wounds for that. Okay, now taking a shot from further away. Yeah, it's still gonna be an overkill. So yeah, pellets about the size of a golf ball. So I very much like the response for the pistols, for the rifles, if the wounds were more aligned in the latter, but 
yeah, not a huge fan of the shotguns here. Okay, yes, for the hammer. First response is once again mild and you do have further damage if you keep whacking the head. Now this one I do very much find to be odd. With the very wild shotgun response we just had, the crushing of cranial contents looks like this. Now here is the response for the axe. So, absolutely loving the edges of the blood soakage here, the way he made those, just very very good stuff. The blood pool, also very nice, you can't miss that and... I do very much like the bloody footprints here as well. Something about the looks of those just feels very very good, in my opinion. So as for more focus on the head, here is the response for the finisher. That is a game issue. Here are some further wax. And that is the blood spinning. Alright, now we go for Brutality Plus. So, those are also very much, very very good patterns on the clothes. Like seriously, nasty stuff. The initial blood splat, the blood soakage going down, yeah that is very good. And here are the exits. Here's a look at the stain patterns for it. Alright, now as for the response for the character, dead and weighing down, yeah, also, quite great. And I do want to give one more for the headshot. Okay, as for the shotguns... That does look like too much pellets. Now let's see to which degree from further away. So yeah, you do have 4 holes per pellet. As for the hammer, I'll spare you the testing. What I have for the initial hit is as always the response around the mouth. And on further wax you got no additional wounds. And here's what we have for the axe. So, very nice blood soakage for sure. The wounds, well as you can see it is pretty mild on the face. The circular ones, yeah I guess it can happen, perhaps if it opened up. So yeah, that is what we have for the axe. Now we're moving on to the blood spilling, once again beginning with vanilla game. And those are the stock responses. A stain or two for every hit. and a blood pool, all of which are fairly consistent. Moving on to the mech dump, that's what we have, definitely not a stain for every hit. And 
and last one here is the aftermath of characters shot using various weapons. Now off to our mods beginning with improvements in gore, so first you can see immediately we have more stains. Can't miss that. And yeah, those are very quiet HD. Burpos have kind of a smeared look to them. Moving on to the mag dump. The extra stains here do very much come quite handy. Still, most stains for every hit, but definitely has more of an impact than what you have in vanilla game. And here is the aftermath, which is certainly very nice and messy. Alright, next up is the Blood and Dico's diversity. And it does look milder than even the vanilla game actually, but we just have the pistol and the blood pool does look quite nice. Alright, so how about the mag dump? Well, definitely can't call it mild anymore, so yeah that is pretty messy. I would say the stains for this kind of a pattern go a little bit too far, but yeah. Definitely isn't mild. Alright, so as for the aftermath. Okay, a thing I have to mention here is when filming in this location, I usually hide Trevor right there, right in the fountain. And uh, in the other mods, we, we don't have the fountain poured into blood. So uh, the mod tweaks some particle effects and you get this kind of a result. Fun stuff. Alright, now on to Brutality Plus. So in this case, he goes down in one hit. Now the mod does tweak the pet health to make them more resilient, but that isn't the case for some reason in this test. I did multiple attempts and he consistently just fell down on the first hit. And as you could see, we also had one stain vanish. Also thing I haven't seen in this, in such an instance, in the other mods. The looks are great though, like seriously, the stain, the blood pool, the hole in the character, all exceptionally solid stuff. As for the mech dump, so definitely less stains than the other mods, as you can very clearly see. But once again, I do very much like the looks of the stains, of the holes, of the blood pool. Moving on to the aftermath. Okay guys, the final one for this video is just gonna be called Cousin, Let's Go Bowling. So a more than decent paint job on the car, hood got a little bit messed up, but we can take care of that. I do like the paint. Not a great deal of smearing. 
Now as for the question, was it a strike? If you look real carefully, you can see that every pin was moved, including the last one standing. And he is right on the line, so he could fall into where the pins would normally fall in a bowling game. So you guys be the judge. Was this a strike? Alright now, improvements in gore. Let's see. So that is a very nice quality paint job on the car. Very very nice stuff. And here we do have the tire mark response. And lots of stretching and smearing and all that fun stuff. And we do have two pins remain standing. That is a seriously nice paint job. Like very very good stuff. Yeah, I dig it a lot. Very high quality. Those stains not working quite as well for this kind of an instance. And I have three pins remain standing. Damn. So that is a split. Now on to brutality plus. So we have kind of a stylized paint job, but still, I think it is very cool. I think it can work for the smearing on the road. Maybe kind of like arterial spurting, if I manage to slice an artery with a very precise car hit. And as for the pins, we clearly have one remaining. That other one is behind the line, he is out, but one pin did stand in its place. Now I don't note, in 3 out of 5 takes I did on this, I had a response of it basically very much resembling a direct hit into a very solid very hard wall. As I mentioned, the mod does tweak the pad health, so it is possible something there makes them very very sturdy. Hope you enjoyed the comparison, do let me know what you think, which one is your favorite, and subscribe for more content coming really soon. So, you just watched a lengthy comparison on gore effects, most of which are very decently realistic and brutal. Now, how about getting something adorable from me in the mail? A way to support the channel is the Bilakoninka artwork store, and the featured painting for today is this very fluffy rabbit. We have this felon prints as well as mugs. We do have more cute animals other paintings too, so be sure to check out the store and get a cool gift for yourself or a loved one. Until next time!